everybody. Welcome to the second part of our Beaver Gambit trilogy. In this series, we're taking a look at this really cool new Gambit that you can play. If you do want to learn some of the theory of this opening, I'll leave a link to part one so you can go back and check it out. Uh, in this one, we're just going to be taking a look at a really cool game where actually I get surprised. If you don't know what the Beaver Gambit is, this was our starting position, so me and my opponent had both agreed to start from this position. Usually what happens in this situation is I have all the tricks and I have all this knowledge that I've pre-prepared. I'm ready to go and I can trick everybody. But every now and then, it's really rare, uh, but my opponents can come up with something on the fly and actually trick me. And that's what we're about to see. Here's a game where my opponent actually came up with this really cool, really awesome double piece sacrifice. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. So any other Beaver Gambiteers out there? Any tough guys? Space is great. Here we go. This will be our tough guy. Space is great. Space is really cool. I've been, I've been kind of figuring out. I think uh, there's some plans to go to Mars pretty soon. I guess the plan is to go to Mars in 2024. Send the first humans to Mars. I don't know. It's interesting. I'm keeping my eye on it. Uh, but for now, oh, this is, is, you didn't do this on purpose, did you? This is the Space is Great Gambit? Oh, the double gambit. Oh, the space is great double gambit. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, this is interesting. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, I thought you were just blundering all your stuff. Oh. I was just, I should have thought more there. I was just taking your stuff, thinking about Mars. I was like, all right, people are going to be on Mars. Time to start daydreaming. And uh, it turns out you kind of had a point. <laughs> it's unfortunate. I didn't think you'd have a point. What is this? Is this real? Insane prep, if real. Holy cow. Insane prep. <laughs> I was, yeah Mentally, I was on Mars And then Now you got a, a position <laughs> Alright, but how do we Wait, this should have been here But Okay Okay, let's see Let's see She doesn't have that many squares So I'm not letting her run away and maybe just two moves? I need, no, but then I need more than two moves. How do I get her? It uh, feels like, you like so for now she's just out of the game. But I don't see how to trap her. Oh, here, here? Aha. Aha, we're, we've, we're hitting on something here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, watch out. Oh, no. Watch out. Uh-oh. Knight B3. 50 bits. Thanks, Tafasca. I appreciate it. But yeah, I've actually been... I've been binging all content on... <laughs> terraforming Mars. Traveling to Mars. All these kinds of things. Um, I find it really interesting that people might attempt to go there. I'm not going to be the first. I tell you what. I'm not going to be the first to go to Mars... It uh, seems like a death trap, but I hope some other people try to do it. It's not going to be me. I don't know if Martian chess rules will be different, but I guess the laws are going to be different. SpaceX has plans to go to Mars, and they're like, we're not following any earthly laws. <laughs> we're going to make up our own, <laughs> our own set of laws. Uh, this was crazy. Amazing. So this must have been some sort of weird prep, and I was just kind of like, da, 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 da. this is fine. Whoa. Queen C7. <laughs> what is Queen C7? This is real for knight D4. Wow. What a gambit. This is actually amazing. And then this is correct. This is correct. Oh, so we were playing a perfect game, but you got to get the queen out of there. So this is all fine, but your queen is getting trapped, so you have to get the queen out. Otherwise, this is this is beautiful. An amazing concept. But I played a perfect game. <laughs> Unknowingly. Holy cow. That's actually a crazy, crazy gambit that was just discovered by Space is Great. 
You just got to remember to get the queen out. Wow, holy cow. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs>